Hi everyone, back with another bongo video. People have been asking me how I've managed to get a double bed inside the bongo. So the day I built the bed, it was really, really hot and my camera kept um, overheating and turning off. So I haven't got much footage of me building the bed, but what I have got, I will insert now. I'm making a rock and roll bed. So, if you can't figure it out, this bit here is going to be the um, base. Let me get my shadow out of the way. This bit here is going to be the base. This bit here will be the back. Attach that. Make it a seat. And that bit there will be the back box. So yeah. I don't think I've got enough screws for these piano hinges. I've only got a hundred. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Yeah, there's thirty. Thirty needed for per piano hinge. So that's the beginning of the rock and roll bed. I've only gone and done it. Made a rock and roll bed. It's massive. The mattress is um, a little bit bigger than the board, so the gaps down the side, they're not going to be an issue. And it literally is the whole of the thingy. Let's move it up. Let's go like that. Push it from the front. There you go. There you go. I could make it a little bit smaller if I took some of this off. If I need to think about the toilet. There you go. One rock and roll bed with storage. There is storage under here. I just need to cut a couple of little hatches so you can get to that storage. So I just need to decide if I'm going to keep it that length or trim it down a bit. So I put a 9mm floor down, 9mm ply after I ripped all the carpet out and everything. And I attached it with these, um, these screws here. They're self drive or self tapping screws. I think self drive, I think they're called. Um, so there's, there is loads of YouTube videos on how to ply a fan floor. And I suggest you have a look at those as well because, you know, I, I, I've bodged it. I've done it all myself. Um, so yeah, you, you screw it into the high ridges of the floor. I, it did take me two attempts to, to cut it out. I need to, um, I need to obviously vinyl this um, and then take a look inside. So come and have a look inside. I've made this rock and roll bed. It pulls out to a double. I'll put a link in the description to this mattress. It is so comfortable. It's even, it's, it's more comfortable than um, my bed at home. Uh, but I did, I made the frame and I attached brackets like this just to give it a bit more security um, the and then I just got a four-way stretch carpet and put carpet four-way stretch carpet and just carpeted it so everything always looks better when it's been carpeted this is a little hatch for storage There you 
we go. It's got a support beam in it. Um, so in here I'll put my clothes, my cooking equipment. Um, many people have been asking me how I'm going to cook and I'll show you. So I got this sweet little table from Amazon. I'm thinking of buying two because it's easy to store. You could even store it in the roof because there's a little bit of a gap in the roof. And it literally just clips together like so. There you go. So I can cook in here, prep. If I get another one of these little tables, then obviously I have double the space. Um, and then I, I can also cook outside if if it's if the weather's permitting. But if the weather's not, then it's easy enough to cook inside. We don't have no fancy kitchen build in this van. The idea of this van was for luxury sleeping. So the reason why I needed luxury sleeping was um, my son has a disability and he suffers a lot of pain. So um, yeah, comfort really was key. And I know the next question you're asking is, what about the toilet? Well, I did buy myself a really nice chemical toilet and it was quite big so I had to go small so it fits underneath as well so here we have it just a small little toilet can also be placed anywhere in case of emergency really uh, and that is that is all it will be used for in cases of emergencies so we can put that there and we can still clear out the bed this is how the bed works. So I did consider cutting the mattress to accommodate the rock and roll bed I built. But then I thought, no, I, uh, the mattress is too nice to cut. So I literally just stack two of the beds. I take the second, middle one out to enable the rock and roll to move. Um, and I just take that out. So when I part, I want to sleep, I just push the, uh, that one forward and there you have it it is 135 centimeters by 190 I'll put the link for this particular mattress in the description I got it off Amazon and I would say it's definitely worth worth the money and with views like this in your backyard you can just go anywhere and everywhere. It's the most comfortable bed. And uh, yeah, I would recommend anyone giving a van build a go themselves. I've still got lots to do. Um, I'm just going to buy a big throw to go on this bed. I also bought a tension bar to give myself a bit more privacy. So this is it here and you literally, I've got to get some more bulldog clips but these little fans are really handy to circulate air and I literally clip that up there, tuck it in at the sides, you get, you get what I mean and you have full privacy you have any questions on how I did anything please just comment below and I'll try and answer everybody the next thing I need to do is change the cigarette lighters to USB ports um, both the back one and the front one I'm gonna get myself a little tiny fridge and also attach a TV I'm gonna have a drop-down TV 
Um, so if you're interested in following my journey, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you on a mini adventure very, very soon. Thank you.